Okay, here we go. Here, this is a 1200 pop wing, and I bought it the other day. Got it in the mail in three days. Um, came pretty quick. I did when I was um, looking online. I actually looked on YouTube and looked, you know, on Google and a couple other things to try to find out more about these wings. And I found that there's a couple of wings out there that are built pretty good. And one of them is called the Assassin. And you can look that up online and they give you a video like three or four videos on how to build that thing so what i did that was supposed to be one of the strongest wings out there they actually have a thing on youtube where they show uh, the plane crashing into a brick wall probably five or six times and nothing ever even happened to it so they built it pretty good i was hoping to have a pretty durable and strong wing i didn't incorporate everything that they did but I did put some of the stuff that they wanted to do, or st some of the stuff that they did on this wing. Um, one of the things they did was they used extreme tape. It's a packing tape. You can get this at Home Depot. And uh, it's really durable stuff. And another thing I did was um, I bought some, some laminate, 5 mil laminate. I got it at a Loft Hobbies. And um, I covered the wing. I, I put all of the, the packing tape on. Um, I used a two inch strip and I used half of it on this side, half of it on the other. And then I cut a three inch strip of the five mil laminate and, and, um, covered it, covered it all the way up. So all of the, the packing tape was covered with laminate. And I generally, I ran, uh, you know, half inch or a little bit more than a half inch over the laminate. So the UV wouldn't affect it and it would stick a lot better. And then I also used um, some of the packing tape back here and then laminated this whole area back in here. You can't see it on the video, but it's laminated. And then the um, elevons, I laminated these. These were pretty floppy. You couldn't grab the end of it like this and move that servo when I first uh, bought it. But since I put a uh, laminate down on just the elevon part, I put it on the top and then I flipped it over and put it on the bottom, the 5 mil laminate. And uh, it stiffened up that wing. It's almost like balsa now. And then I, on the side force generators, you can see these things are just, I mean the whole plane is just completely stiffened up after putting that laminate on. Um, I used the packing tape, you know, of course down the middle here on the back side because if you look on... YouTube, you can see uh, this part gets chewed up pretty bad by this prop when it flies off. And also the, the motor mount here isn't exactly the strongest motor mount around. On the Assassin video, they were using um, some stuff called um, Formica. And what they did is they put that, that down instead of this. And then there was another piece, a uh, 16-gauge um, sheet metal that they would put on around that and it held this motor in place. I also have a motor coming, this is the stock motor that's on here, but I have a, a motor coming on eBay. I bought it for 10 bucks. It's a 2200 kV and it's a still, it's a, it's a 2212 like this motor, the same, same size around, but it's a 2200 kV. This is a 1250 kV. So that should push this plane pretty fast. The, fastest plane that I saw on YouTube was um, a 2900. I'm not sure what kind of battery he was using, but um, that plane went over 100 miles an hour. And he had um, balsa for his ailerons. He cut those off, which isn't a good idea. I know some people that are uh, do a lot of builds. And um, one of the guys that bought one of these wings, he cut these off of here, that the ailerons and um, wasn't able to get it to fly right ever since he did that so he was kind of bummed out that he cut those off. What I did is I left them intact and I laminated the top and the bottom but only on where that crease is. That's, that's the laminate as far as it goes. It goes right to that crease so you still get all this and you can see how stiff they are. They don't, they don't move anymore. It's got some nine gram servos and hoping to to get this on eBay, uh, get this in the mail from eBay here anytime soon, and I'll change that out. Also, the the um, binding or not binding, but but programming your radio for this. If you have a Tranus, which is one of the newer radios, it's a 16-channel radio. The same place I got the the laminate, 
I um, I bought this. I bought this a few months ago, and it's a an awesome radio. It has telemetry and all that. And all you did was just sent, select the template, and it did everything for you. You didn't have to do anything. You, there was no reversing it, um, and there was no issues with it at all. It took all of about five minutes to do that. Um, when I was looking on YouTube, I did notice on their videos, nobody ever addressed this. And what there is, there's that O-ring back here. And I was always wondering, what's with the O-ring? Well, that O-ring, there's a sleeve that slides over the shaft here. And there's a screw on that sleeve. Well, you put that on first over the shaft. And then you put this on, this uh, prop. And then you, you hook the O-ring to the screw and pull it back over this. And that's all that's holding this on. So when it hits the ground, the prop pop, pops off. 